The floor looks great Bill, what's that doll? I found it under the old floorboard, that sorcerer must be using it for his rituals, who else would hide a doll under the floor? That looks like a marionette puppet than a voodoo doll Bill, poor thing must have fallen through the broken floorboards. This is a very finely made puppet, and judging by its outfit, it's at least three centuries old. I'll restore the marionette and check if it has one of the missing bellflowers for the clavichord. Our little buddy is as good as new, I didn't find the bellflower, but he has a beautiful heart on his jacket. Then we'll have to keep looking, let's leave this guy here for now, he's a classic theater item, so he fits great in this room. You think this room's about theater? Think again, weird dolls under the floor, scary masks, this place screams sorcery. We're the only sorcery here, who else can conjure beauty from giant mess? So let's keep going and lay a rug over the new floor. Well, then let's replace the windows too, the broken frames are definitely not contributing to any beauty. What a nice rug, this room is slowly transforming, I can already imagine a theater night happening here soon. Yeah, we can stage a comedy something to really make people laugh or one of those heart-wrenching dramas. I'd rather stage a musical, what could be more fun than a duet with some fiery choreography? I like it, then I'll go to Rockville, pick up Takumi, and we'll have a groovy, funky, um, I mean, a classy, elegant theater party. I'm sure we'll have a great time in this room, but finding the key to the second door is the most important thing right now. All done Carl, now no more wind will come through that window unlike that mischievous sorcerer. Bill, we might be in the theater room, but you don't need to be so dramatic. I don't think there's a sorcerer on the island, maybe someone's just lost, but I wonder why they don't want to be seen. I'll tell you why, he's concocting something. Okay okay, I'll stop with the drama and go fix the second window, that should calm me down. It's much more pleasant in your theater now with new windows, even the masks and the puppet don't seem that scary anymore. But theaters can be weird, one time I was working at the Rockville Opera, they had a red stain that kept appearing on the stage every week. I would remove it, but it came back every single time and on the same spot. Oh, Takumi's actor friend told us about that, they were putting on the ghost of Rockville Bill, that red stain was part of the play. These letters are fascinating, imagine, Celso's Laura played the clavichord for the guests herself. She also performed monologues in this room wearing different masks, that's right, mask, every letter she received came with one. What if we hang the masks by the dates of the letters? There's a date and description of the corresponding mask in each one. So the first mask should be in third position, and the third one should be the first, and we should swap numbers 4 and 5. Okay, let's hang the masks in the same order Laura got them. I hope that helps us find the first bellflower for the clavichord. Look, a compartment opened, we got the first bellflower, great job Peggy, your translation's perfect. Thanks Carl, that's the kind of feedback students need to receive about their work, it's very motivating. It doesn't always work, one time our university professors decided to only be positive to all the students. You should have seen them praising my friend for getting an F, and at the end of the day, it didn't do him any good. But I know what does us good, let's put the first bellflower into the clavichord and get ourselves closer to opening the second door. Whoa! The cylinder turned. 
So the clavichord has a mechanism inside it, the golden bell flower opened the first clamp, and now we have the second clue. If the cylinder turned, and there's a new clue in old rock villic, then it's time Peggy got down to bussiness, I'll translate it super fast. I translated the inscription, it says, the second bellflower is in a bell tower of city both big and small. And that's it, that's the whole clue, but I still have no idea where the second bellflower could be, this one's a pickle. Thanks Peggy, you're right, that clue didn't help much, the bellflower is in a bell tower? But there are no bell towers around here. Are we missing something, or do we just not understand the clue? We should think it over. Anyway, a city that's both big and small, a bell tower, the second bellflower is in a bell tower, and the bell tower's in a city. What does it all mean? How can a city be small and big at the same time? I don't understand. Hold on, I see some buildings painted on that old secretary desk, one of them could be your bell tower. It's hard to tell at the moment, let's restore the secretary and take a closer look, I hope the bell tower with the bellflower is there. It's ready, take a look. The secretary desk's as good as new, but he parts of the picture are mixed up, I can't understand what it's supposed to be. The picture's made up of different parts, and they're all in the wrong places, it's like a jigsaw puzzle. I'm sure if we solve it, we'll get a clue to the next bellflower for the clavichord. I can do it, Amelia and I did lots of puzzle as kids, but I was always faster, leave the puzzle to me. Then I'll do the walls. Hanging wallpaper straight can be harder than doing a puzzle sometimes, but don't worry, I got it. Now we're talking, with new wallpaper, this place looks much better, well I guess I'm done here for today. Or maybe, you know, I think I should stick around for a while, who knows what that creepy stranger's up to. And then I can go with Peggy and Amelia, so they're not going home alone if it's late. Thanks Bill, that's great, we don't really know how long it'll take to find the clavichord bellflowers. Alright, I'll do something useful too, this castle's been empty for centuries, that railing is in bad shape, so I'll fix that to start. Now the railing looks much better, and it'll last a long time too. Well, Neil seems to like it, but I can't sit still, we've got to find the key to the second door. We'll find it Carl, I went through Celso's letter to Laura again to find out where the bellflowers could be, I didn't find much. But I love his style, Laura, the apple of my eye, I'm counting the days to see our island again and hold you close in my arms. Oh, that's so inspiring, and it was great to practice my old rock villic. Now I'm sure I can translate any clue from the clavichord. Guys, look, I did it. That's Old Castle a big city like an hour away from Rockville, we went there as kids, remember Amelia? How can I forget the best ice cream in the whole world, and the square with the bell tower, where couples meet for dates? That looks like a miniature copy, no souvenir stalls or candy stores, but the bell tower's there. And there's our bellflower, mystery solved, now we know which city's both big and small. Great, we have two bellflowers, one more and the clavichord should open, and something tells me we'll find the second key inside it. I really hope you're right, let's put the second bellflower in the clavichord and then find the third one. Oh, that didn't sound good. The cylinder on the clavichord turned again, but something went wrong, the mechanism must be jammed, and now the clue's all scratched. Don't worry Carl, give me a minute, 
and I'll restore the inscription, and when I'm done, Peggy can translate it. All done, I restored it, and now you can see every symbol on the cylinder clearly, take it away Peggy. I'm on it, I'll translate the third clue and we'll know where the last bellflower is in no time. Here's what the clue says. You'll find the third bellflower when the big-hearted couple gets back together. Remember the puppet with a big heart on its jacket we found under the floor? That could be one of them, but where's his lady? I think I know where she might be, we've looked everywhere except this old cabinet. Oops, my bad, the doors fell off, but I found more puppets. One of them must be the big-hearted lady, but it's hard to tell which one. The puppets look terrible, we'd better restore them. Then let's hang candle holders on the wall, they'll make your job easier and this room cozier too.